What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on RIVN ticker. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that might affect the price of this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should you expect from the price action. So, let's start with the price chart. As you can see, we have this massive surge in price. And by the way, I made my previous video right before this uh, company becomes public uh, on uh, November the 9th. And on that video, I've told you that uh, we might see at the opening hours the huge volatility because the price might spike up and then fall down. As you can see right here, we have exactly what I predicted. Uh, we have uh, the opening price at around $105. Then we had this uh, surge in price of 13% and the immediate decrease for more than 20%. And this is just the beginning of its first trading session. And from the range of about $95, this company spiked up for more than 50, for about 60%. Huge, huge increase in price. And I have to say that uh, for now, you have to be cautious with this price section. And I will show you in uh, my fundamental analysis and in my technical analysis why I think so. So, and let's continue with the fundamentals of this company. For those of you who don't know, Rivian Automotive develops and manufactures electric adventure vehicles. It offers five passenger pickup uh, trucks and sport utility vehicles. And for now, this company has a total market cap of about $110 billion, slightly above this range because uh, we have 852.86 million shares and the price, uh, the current price is uh, $153. So, about $130 billion of its market cap. And here is uh, its uh, two models. It is a R1T, it is a pickup truck, and the R1S, it is a SUV. And I have to say that for now, combined, uh, they delivered uh, not more than 200 vehicles. Uh, the majority of them are R1T, and uh, about uh, 10 or maybe not more than 20 cars, not more than 20 of R1 S's. And that's why, for now, this company basically doesn't have any sales. They have uh, just uh, some contracts with Amazon, and this contract is really huge. Uh, they have to deliver about 100,000 uh, electric vans by 2030, and they have about uh, 50,000 uh, pre-orders for these two vehicles. So, let's continue with uh, some uh, articles. And we are on uh, Seeking Alpha. This article was published on, on November 15th and it's titled Rivian blazes to new high and has a bigger valuation than Honda, Ferrari and Fisker combined. And let me quote you these bullets. Rivian Automotive is 13.73% higher and traded at a new high of $150.39 earlier in the session to take the market cap to over $115 billion. The valuation on Rivian is now more than the market caps of Honda Motors, Fisker and Ferrari combined. There is some news out today on the electric vehicle upstart uh, with the Atlanta Journal Constitution reporting that Rivian is in late stage talks to open a vehicle manufacturing and a battery plant uh, in the Atlanta region. And this is definitely a very good sign for this company, but it is not enough to prove uh, this uh, huge movement to the upside. On top of that, let me show you this article. On November 15th, uh, also on Seeking Alpha, this article that is titled Rivian Stock, a $110 billion market cap is dangerous. And uh, here are the bullets. Rivian had a very successful IPO last week. Shares of uh, the EV startup are surging. Rivian has no sales, but a $110 billion market capitalization. It will take years before today's valuation can be justified. And I am completely agree with this la last bullet. And let me quote you this. The author estimates that Rivian can grow to 20,000 to 30,000 vehicles in production and deliveries by year end uh, 2023. Assuming an average vehicle price of about $70,000, not including major add-ons uh, for customization, Rivian is looking at potential sales of $1.4 billion to $2.1 billion in two years' time. 
Rivian is unlikely to post any operating or net profits in the coming years because the firm will do whatever it can to reach mass production capacity. It took Tesla more than a decade to become profitable and achieved this only with considerable volume. With $1.4 billion in projected sales uh, full year 2023, shares of Rivian sell it up uh, to 80x of sales. This is sales, not profits. Most EV makers with existing products sell 4 PS ratios around 5 to 8, with Tesla being the only exception with a high sales multiplier factor. And I have to say Tesla is not the only company EV manufacturer that uh, has a huge multiplier. Another one is Lucid and they just started their first deliveries and they also have a total market cap of around 70 billion dollars so it is what it is and i just want to warn you that uh, it is not the perfect point where you can invest your money into this company and what is the reason of a massive surge in price first of all definitely it is their outstanding marketing campaign and the hype around uh, this uh, company made uh, by retail investors and let me show you on apewisdom.io and this website tracks the activity around uh, the stocks community on uh, Reddit and as you can see Rivian has the sixth place with uh, 263 mentions and uh, with increase of uh, 498% during the last 24 hours and it has more than uh, 1000 upvotes about 1100 upvotes I have to say and let me show you that uh, on top 10 uh, positions, we have three electric vehicle manufacturers. On the sixth place, we have Rivian. Fifth place uh, with the Lucid. And the first place, definitely, it is a Tesla. So, this industry is extremely hot right now. And let me show you that uh, on uh, kiverkan.com, we have uh, the EVs as the top industry among all other industries for now. And that's why this company has retail investors and the hype around it as a huge driver of uh, the price of uh, their stocks. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, as you can see, we have uh, several waves right here and we are on five minutes time frame because we don't have much data. We have just four sessions. And uh, as you can see, at the first glance, we might have, uh, this is our first wave, second, third, third, fourth and uh, fifth may be right here. But uh, this breakdown violates the rule that the third wave cannot be the shortest and that's why we have completely different uh, breakdown. This might be our first wave, this is the second, this entire movement might be the third one right here or one more leg to the upside. Then we have to have a fourth wave and fifth one. And I have to say that you shouldn't count on this uh, breakdown and I will show you in a second why I think so. And right here on the internal movement we have this is our first wave, uh, second, uh, third, fourth and uh, right here might be the fifth one or we might have some small leg to the upside. And why I think that uh, you cannot count on this retracement to add to your position or to open your new position in order to catch the fifth wave. And it is quite simple. First of all, let me show you indicators. And by the way, I have to downgrade this scale. Let me show you indicators. And let's switch uh, to hourly time frame. And right here, as you can see, we have an RSI that is uh, on the overbought territory. Next one, two hours time frame the same, three hours time frame, the same and uh, we don't have uh, much uh, price action right here and that's why it is extremely dangerous to enter your position at this very point because eventually we will have a pullback and this pullback will be massive. So I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time. Bye!